In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make your snip feed branded because that's super important. I really do believe that visual branding across all your platforms differentiates yourself from your competitors, especially if you really are serious about taking your content creation, your course creation, your network marketing, whatever you're creating online to the next level and taking it as serious as a business. I'm gonna show you how to make it pretty. Let's go share my screen so I can show you a little bit about your visual branding. Go to my page. We're gonna start from scratch and let's add your bio. Your photo, I really do believe needs to be the same across all your platforms. That means same as Instagram, same as TikTok and any of your other channels. I even have my same picture on Pinterest as well as LinkedIn and a whole bunch of other channels. So I'm pretty sure you've seen my photo. It's that pink one that I literally post always, like no matter where. But for these purposes, we're just gonna post this one because I wanna make sure that you know exactly what it looks like. So there I am, face and done. I do wanna make sure that you're looking at the camera and that you have a nice zoomed face. So my name is Senia. And your bio can be something pretty simple, similarly to your Instagram bio or your TikTok bio. So in my case, I can just do that. Okay, so that is my bio. And here is when we can start making it super cute. I wanna start from scratch. When I come here to design, I'm gonna be able to customize it however I want. Okay, so here are a few ideas. And right here, these page colors need to be similar to your brand colors. If you don't know, just keep it neutral. That could be like, a tan or something like that. Like you just don't really have any brand colors right now. Just keep something simple and clean. That way you just don't even have to deal with it. So in that case, you can look here, see what's going on. If you do the pro plan, you can use the vlog or blog style, but I just wanna keep it super simple. So I'm gonna use this one and it says that the texts are this color. I'm actually gonna do them black because I don't really, want too much maybe let's see what it looks like let's just see what that looks like the font again it's going to be super simple see what that looks like yeah honestly to me that looks fine i again when you're first starting and you're trying to figure things out if you just keep it simple you can't go wrong with that these are so busy for me there's just no way i picked my colors i picked my font you can literally design this as customized as you want but i'm going to go back to design and here is where you can start adding stuff. So on the bottom, you're gonna start building your page. I think that you should have a free offer, a paid offer, and anything else that you want to add. If you have nothing yet, you need to at least have some sort of mailing list. And subscribe to my mailing list is so boring, so you need to incentivize. Why should they subscribe to you? So let's add it. I'm gonna add a mailing list. I'm gonna say join the creator club. There you go, a my CT button. You can do whatever you want here. Let's say you want to add a photo, you totally could. You can have a little envelope or whatever the case may be. So they're gonna enter their email. I am gonna put their name to be required and I'm not gonna make their phone number required. So the post submission message can be something like, I like to make mine informal. So OMG, you are in. Okay, there you go. And you can even add a free download if you want to. That's completely up to you. I personally would. But if you don't have anything, you can leave it for now. You can add anything as a free download. That's perfect. I added my email list. I'm going to put that on top. And let's see what else we can add. I'm going to add custom text. And what that looks like, it's so simple. It's literally what it sounds like, text. You can have a body of text. But what I like to do is have something like sign up here. I'm going to put this in bold. And you'll see what I'm talking about. That way it can feel customized you so I have that and I'm gonna put this here because I'm gonna add a product so monetization let's say we're just gonna add a digital product so I'm gonna add that and you can figure out how you want it to come up do you want it to be a square thumbnail do you want it to be small and what that means is that is like a small one right there if you want it a little bit bigger let me show you what it will look like you can do it like this and I'll show you what it looks like See, it looks like that, a little bit bigger. So one more time, that's what it will look like if you have that there. Okay, so I'm gonna go back, make sure that I have everything the way that I want it. All right, friend, 
let's keep on going. I want to show you how to do this other super cute thing, which is a video preview. This is perfect if you have a growing YouTube channel that you really want to make sure to continue to grow. I love this. So let me show you how to do that. You All you're going to do is go to your YouTube channel and pick whatever video that you want. For a really long time, what got me a lot of views was my snip feed tutorial. It was how to upload and customize your snip feed. So let's just say I just want any video. I'm going to come here, share. All I have to do is get the link. And then I add the URL and I'll have that as a preview. So what does that look like? There you go. That's going to be the preview. And you could put something like subscribe today and then put it down here. Okay. Another thing that you can do in your page is new. And I absolutely love this, which is a nail gallery. So this could be something like this. And let's say that you have offers or free downloads or whatever. So every single image that you have will go toward the link. So let me just show you what I mean. So I'm going to put this here and the thumbnail is what has to be super cute. So let's say we're going to do this. It's going to be a square. So make sure that whatever thumbnail that you're picking does match. And I'm going to do another one. So I add whatever link I have. Maybe it can be one of your offers on Snippy. Maybe it can be your course. Maybe it could be an affiliate link that you want. But let me show you exactly what it's going to look like. That way you can understand what I mean. And you can do as many as four. Let's take a look. How does it look? So there you go. Look, it looks like two of these. And when you press on the gallery, on the little photo, it takes you to a directed link, which I love. I feel like it looks just so much cleaner instead of having so many different things that is just on your page. One last thing I wanted to show you, there's so many things. You can add a carousel, like if you have a lot of products. I personally love the thumbnail now. It's so much cleaner. But you can, if you have a podcast, you can add it to your snip feed. You can embed, embed. You can embed a tweet if you are a Twitter person. And as far as the monetization, you can add anything. You can add your products. Specifically, it's going to look like this, where it says test. You can make it bigger. And if you create, let me show you what I'm talking about. If you create something like this, you see how it says brand to profit plan? You can make it look like that. You can have that little button that says enroll now. Although when you click on it, it's the same thing with or without the button. It just makes it look a little bit more legit. So this is what mine looks like. Can I help you? It's the two that I just showed you. And this is a, an external link that's going to help you work with me if you are interested in doing that. So I hope that this helps. The point of this is to just have fun, but the least options they have, the better chances you are that they'll get less overwhelmed. One last thing that I wanted to share with you is that in the past, I have heard somebody say, don't put the free stuff right there. Don't put the free stuff so like first, basically. And my thought process is this. I need people in my email list, so I'm going to make it as easy as possible. And if they, if I put it right smack in the first, you know, in the first one, and they're interested in a digital product, as they scroll down, they'll be able to see, oh, but she already helps with this. They already know what I do. They already gave me their information. They'll be a little bit more open to go explore, go see what's going on, and continue being interested in what I offer. So don't be afraid to put your free stuff on top. Don't be afraid to put the pricing. Don't be afraid to sell because selling is only an exchange of value. I hope that helps. Go make your sniff feed super cute, super attractive. And reminder, not so many options, okay? Keep it simple. Keep one or two offers if needed and a way that they can contact you. All right, talk to you soon.